I started Paratriathlon at an open day last October with um, British Triathlon Federation. It's been an absolutely amazing season. I've had um, three international competitions, one in Pontevedra, Spain, where I won silver and beat the world champ in the swim and the bike, an international at Hyde Park, where I also won silver, which made me overall ranked number one in the UK for paratriathlon. I really love paratriathlon because I'm quite a competitive person, but also it's a it's fantastic being able to do the same as everybody else. Plus it's about changing people's perceptions about what's possible for someone with a disability. Since winning last year, uh, which was brilliant, um, I've since moved down to Roehampton in March to continue full-time training with the GB guys, which is really, really hard for a man of my age. Um, but unfortunately, four months later, I, my shoulder injury kicked in again, and, and I'm really penciled to go back in full-time training back down in Roehampton in February, where hopefully I'll continue to go through there till August next year for when the Paralympic Games start. As I say, I'm playing sitting volleyball. Uh, as you can probably see in the background, the guys are playing, Lincoln are playing at the minute. Difference in rules between standing volleyball, smaller court, September 6, smaller net, 1 metre 10, 1 metre 5 for women, otherwise exactly the same rules. One of my many uh, crazy uh, ideas is that I had to do uh, lots of charity events for a charity called Limpower who run the amputee games every year. Uh, last year I did climb Kilimanjaro and this year, uh, four weeks ago, I did the London to Paris bike ride in three days. I'm a suited disc thrower, I'm ranked world number two, number one in the juniors first in the UK and first in Europe. I've competed internationally at my first event at the start of 2011. I train six days a week and every other day is at Loughborough High Performance Centre. I went to the Lincolnshire Throwing Academy and that's where I met my coach Jim Edwards and without Jim I wouldn't be where I am today and without the throwing academy I wouldn't be where I am today. So I keep my fingers crossed and I'll be on form for London 2012.